Hi guys, I'm Kev from sonsofcane.com and we're going to be looking at balance this week. With me as usual, Chris. Hi mate. Hi Kev. What we're looking at this week is some balance points and the use of the triangle. So these are little things you can add to techniques to enhance them. Okay, first of all we're going to look at the balance points, me in the chair, because this it changes everything with the triangle. So with Chris here, not a balance point, but I've got a tap to the ankle. That's going to help. Reversing the cane, I've got the knee. Reverse again, I've got the hip point. You've also got the bladder, super pubis. Just a little tap, makes them want to go to the toilet. You've got the solar plexus, moving up to the arm. You've got the crook of the arm. If the arm's extended, as it was with the, the strike on the previous video. Axilla, armpit, heart one. It is really uncomfortable and a great push away. All we're looking for is distance with these from a seated wheelchair point of view. Now we're starting to get into positions that are a little bit dangerous, so please, if you're practicing these at home on other people, be careful. You've got the animal's apple and you've got a cricoid process underneath, which is a little triangle just under there and you push and aim. I prefer the crook on these things but you've got under the chin, under the nose. You've got the crook strikes as well with these but if you're starting off area one hip to toe, area two shoulder to hip. Leave area three anything above the neck leave it well alone. If you're able bodied, the balance points changes as well. So if Dan squares up to me, just goes into a guard position, whatever it is. The first one, we always know, wherever the head goes, the body will follow. So I'm not going to talk about that one too much. First one we are is follow the line of the shoulder to the elbow. So if I grab hold of his arm and he resists, he's bigger and stronger than me. If I follow the line and pull, that's your first balance point. Where the elbow's pointing is where you're going to go. So if he's up there and I can do that with my cane, it's even better for me. If we come down, we've got the hips. So pressing in there. And you know, a lot of catters start like this. And that, this is the reason why you're breaking the balance. Doing it with the cane, either pressing in, he's not happy with that, or doing your double-handed strike works as well. With the knee, where the knee points, I've taken them off balance. And you can do that either way. Driving this down on top of the bladder works a treat. When we were doing drop drills in one of our videos, one of my favourites, if Dan turns around for me, look for the floating ribs. Now if I push Dan, brilliant. If you find the floating ribs, which are here, you might want to step a little back this way, Dan. So I'm going to push, and when I push, it's not going to be straight, I'm just going to give it a slight elevation on my push as well. So he's going to resist me, I've got this, round the floating ribs, and he's trying to resist me. This yeah. works on everybody. That's so not <laughs> It's not, you can launch people. Yeah. So when we were talking about our pushing waves, this is an ideal situation. I would do it with the cane, but I know for a fact I'll put him through our door over there, so I'm not going to. The other one we've got is in the small of the back and this rotational motion here. So you're knocking it down. Again, I'm not going to do it with the cane. If I drive the cane into there and do that, he's not going to be very happy for me with a couple of weeks while that bruising sorts itself out. So when we're looking at the balance points, this is what we're talking about. The best one is to lead where the elbow is. People stick their hands up for you. They get leery, they go in a guard. You've got a good point. But this leads into what we call the triangle, and this is a nifty little one that you can use with the cane as well. So when we talk about the triangle for us, I'm, when I look at people, I glance at their feet. So if I look at Dan's feet, I'm using this as a base of a triangle, of an equilateral triangle. So if I make the third apex with this, it's going to be here. That's going to be my triangle point. So as I glance at Dan's feet, I'm looking for that point. If I grab hold of his head, and just pull, if, if he resists, and I'm trying to pull, if I look at where that 
triangle point is there, and I pull to that point, he's got no resistance for me. So this is a good balance point. With the cane, it's even better. If I need it for mobility, I can strike, so I can do a crook strike to the side of the neck. And I'm going to pull his head down to that point, and I've now got my three points to get more stability for that. So when you look at people and the balance points, you can pull them off with one while taking them down with another one. So just little things that you can add to your techniques which will give it just a little bit of extra to make it work better. That was the triangle, that's the principle of it. It's different from when we're talking about tripod for stability that Kev would use. This is where you're trying to get points of contact on the floor so you've got more stability. So it's something slightly different, but with the tripod, we're going to go through that later. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you liked this video. Please, as usual, drop us a comment down below. Any ideas that you have, just let us know and give us a thumbs up. As always, if you haven't done so, please subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to care. And as always, hit that notification bell. Free to fit.